You're back in the newsroom on CNN Philippines. As the battle between government troops and Malta rebels rages on, authorities are having a hard time recovering bodies. Lanao del Sur's provincial rescue units are now preparing for retrieval operations inside the war zone. Our Rex Remito reports. Decomposing bodies of over 100 dead soldiers and civilians remain scattered in the main battle area. The Lanao del Sur Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office says they can't recover the corpses because of the ongoing clashes between government forces and Maute rebels. Uh, our focus from the military side is to address the armed elements. The recovery of the dead and the missing is the subject of the other task force following after us. The hostilities and the stray bullets make retrieval operations very dangerous and risky. And as the bodies rot by the hour, chances that the families of these victims of war would recognize them is dim. That's why local rescue units are preparing well for the difficult task. They're holding an exercise simulating a situation where they had to do their job just a few steps away from a firefight. The goal is to rescue those who are still alive and retrieve the bodies of those who have been killed. Uh, this would be the first time na papasok kami uh, sa yung mga areas na hindi pa namin na, na, na pasukan. Ito, ito trabaho namin eh. and siguro ito, ito na rin yung best contribution namin sa mga kababayan namin. Another exercise is on the proper handling and identification of remains. A forensic advisor from the International Red Cross leads the training. Uh, well, number one, the dignified manner to, I mean, respect the body, to res but most importantly, to document whatever is relevant that could be conductive to identification. These are human people. These are human people. These are persons. These are people who has an identity. So, and people is looking for them. At least 700 people have lost their lives in the conflict that has been ongoing for two and a half months now. Rescue teams say they will get all the bodies they can in the war zone. Soldier, civilian or rebel, they all deserve a dignified burial. In Marawi City, Rex Remitio, CNN, Philippines.